program for these eating programs to be long-term effective. Uh, what they found is if you just do an eating program or an extreme low-calorie diet, you will lose muscle. And if you lose muscle, you're losing your metabolism. And once again, if you lose your metabolism, then you will gain fat because muscle is a big part of your metabolism. Tom Seaborn is a fitness expert at Northeast Texas Community College in Mount Pleasant. He says a pound of muscle burns an additional 35 to 40 calories a day. If we don't exercise, studies show we lose about half a pound of muscle a year. That's a gain of 2.6 pounds of fat a year. And you can see how people just gradually gain weight as they get older, mostly because they become sedentary. But getting fit doesn't have to be a struggle. You don't have to run a marathon or count every calorie you eat to have a healthy lifestyle. Tonight, we'll give you some tips to help you get on a healthy track. Once this becomes a habit, then it's easy, and people don't miss those foods that they used to eat. They'll eat something that's real high in fat, and it'll taste funny to them because all of a sudden their bodies are used to the cleaner type foods. It's like running on a high-octane engine then, and that's, that's what we're looking for. And when we come back, we'll begin looking at what fuels that engine. We'll start with the two hottest diets on the market, and is that the kind of fuel your body really needs? A look at the Atkins diet and the Heller diet right after this.